from. Oh, and we are getting a phone, which is better than what I have in most ways. Anywho, um, Nefertari is imbued with the spirit of the goddess Maat. We take issue with the certain of their shared positions. That cosmic order is unassailable, or that harmony <coughs> is by nature greater than chaos. Bless you. But we do not wish to get into arguments with ancient goddesses, goddess statues. At the present time, it would be product. It would not be productive. For now, our short-term goals are the same: to wait. To wake Philip upon the cosmic scales <laughs> and sentence it to death. Hmm. Bless uh, you. All right. Now I also have the mission objective: just the soul of Truth Seeker Seth. For some reason, it didn't register when I clicked on the guy. Hmm. You want help with that? Well, yeah. You will get all the help we can offer. Now his soul is loose. And I have to start judging him. Right. There we go. Alright, let's move over here so we don't get attacked again. I wonder what killed these people. <coughs> Maybe it was, was that guy we just killed. Hold on, just before we proceed, just because I'm getting curious. Well, well there's no blood, so... Unless I can see a face... Oh wait, there is blood on this one. This one was decapitated. Now, blood marks that indicate that... Uh, I'm not sure where... I right. But I'll read my report now, okay? You do that. Yeah, sure. Uh, I investigate. I could care less who gets saved and who doesn't. Kill them all and let the maggots sort it out. Though I appreciate your ability to work with ne within necessary frameworks, the Atonist filth camp needed to be purged. Doing it in a way that satisfied Mrs. Local High and Mighty Max, Nefertari, whatever. Both well for future synergy with the Sentinels. Smart money says the statues can do much more than pose. When the time comes for them to act, we want to be in a position to pull a string or two. Huh. Also, just before my temporary report, I think I can safely conclude that some of these people were either, I think seriously, scared to death, or someone actually just, you know, up and killed them. Some of these have chest wounds with different symbols, and others have been decapitated. Look around, if you will, while I read my report. Well, in that case, I imagine they've been sacrificed by the Atonists. Alright. Okay. Now, that's weird. Now for the Templar report. I'm being provided with Black Jackal's bone. Hmm. But let judgment run down as waters. Amos for fifth in twenty fourth, I think. The goddess Mart, uh, Mart, the waiter of cosmic scales, is the chosen aspect of the Sentinel Nefertari. We have been honored to be named her judge, jury, and executioner in the region. It is a task fit for a Templar. Unfortunately, the effects of the filth make a rather taxing and unpleasant affair. Unpleasant affair. Now enough hearts heavy with sin without all this extra weight. Judge not, lest ye be judged, they say. Well, we judge you constantly, and thus far, your colors are flying. <laughs> I figured this would be something right up your boss's alley. Well, let's go get our next mission. Yeah, uh, I know you say, you say something about... Well, there is... I said... Can you hear me? Yeah, now we can. You were lagging before. Ah, okay. I was saying, A, I wasn't surprised that um, Rana's bosses would approve heartily of this mission. And B, let's go get our mission number two. Right. From this high and mighty. 
But he is very tall. <laughs> that too. The Third Age. The Sentinels are worried that the. Oh my! <laughs> nice! The Sentinels are worried that the cultists are unearthing ancient secrets from the sands. Some secrets are too powerful to fall into the wrong hands. Everyone ready? Yeah. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one, click. Right. Waiting suits you well, Nefertari. So cool in the shade of your crown. There will always be need for each of our aspects. In time, even you might appreciate this as an honor, not a prison. An honor for whom? The Egypt we knew is long gone. Good so, one. Our civilization was not the first nor the last in this land. It is a land as old as the universe and as prone to chaos. Ask yourself why Artan chose to manifest itself in this place. Akhenaten had many grand temples and solar lodges built for it in Amarna. Yet the voices called him into the howling desert. Why is that? Because the sand is thin. And what lies beneath can easily spread its influence. Entice men here and leave their bones bleaching in primeval caves. That's how the Artanists seized power so quickly. They took up the arms that have been left behind. Hold on! You knew this all along? Well, you didn't ask. What? I don't... I... Is this because I pushed her off the bark when we were children? Oh no. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> I feel so sorry for that guy. But I like him! Yeah, these, again, good sitcom potential here. Yep. <laughs> these people, Jesus Christ. But Let's I like them up with the guys from Inspawn Academy and see what happens. Oh dear <laughs> God! <laughs> Take fucking cover! <laughs> In any case, we've got to get back to the cultist camp. Uh, apparently they may have artifacts over there. Oh God. I think we can get up from over here. Think. Wait for me! Yeah, this is, looks doable. Waiting, just had to check. Is that guy gonna attack us? No, he's too. Oh, wait, yes, they are attacking. They noticed Rana, apparently. Huh. I apologize. Don't apologize, I'm pretty sure you couldn't see them from up there on the rock. Yeah, okay. That might be right. Right. Now you two can hang there and think about what you've done. Huh. Look very different. Also, I have a little question, Cobra. Yes. You have mentioned a lot about. Uh, oh, there you are, Waller. You mentioned about, for say, when you mentioned the Templars, that all about that high horse or something like that. It usually sounds like again having a stick or stick up ones. You know what? What? Can you see? Rectum. Yeah, rectum. Thank you. Those? No rectum. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> As I wanted to ask, Cobra. Can you see any, I'm not saying you cannot, but can you name a few positive things about, you know, being so high and hoffy? Well, they do have good points often, and they are generally willing to help people. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'd say, unlike our organization, which tends to be rather... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I mean, you're dedicated to ideals, but those ideals seem to fly, uh, seem to ignore people a lot, at least those caught in the middle. Nothing in here. But yeah, you care about the little people. You care about oh, the people caught in all this business. Oh, do I use it? Uh, sure. Okay. Anyway, so, like I was saying, our organization tends to be a bit blah, 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 blah. and the uh, corporate organization tends to be uh, gigantic assholes. Yeah. At least it's the your organization seems to be <laughs> generally nice people. Yeah. But you know what, I will say this about my organization, at least it's most often, you know, snarky, rude asshole, better than, you know, like these guys, or the Orochi, where it's like... Uh. But, where they could basically be twirling a moustache and growing woo ha ha, -ha all day. Yep. Hmm. Let me see the map. There are three excavation sites, it looks like. <coughs> and I can Sorry. see the first one, one already on the mini-map. Oh, well... Let's go down there. Well, that does make things a lot easier. Oh, that's the first excavation. Okay, that's four excavation sites, but but yeah, let's drop down. Pocahontas! No, wait, wrong name. 
Geronimo. Yeah, that's the one. Maybe you should use his Native American name rather than the name uh, that the me that the Mexicans use for him. Uh, who hmm. wants the pure chain? Me. I use chain. Oh, hey, a, cust a miniature custodian. That's cute. Let me have a look at that in a moment. Um, where's it going? Clickety clockety clickety clock. Ah, oh, there we have. Its model took some time to load it. Uh, That's cute. I want one. I have so. one, please. So, little fella. Sure. You might be able to buy one in the shop. I have thought of getting myself a companion that way. So, little fella, what is your duty here? Uh, for now, apparently it is leading us. I hope it has some defense mechanism. It has us. Mm, yeah. You know, it is sort of cute, but it would be awesome if it had a giant death laser. Why would you stop a giant anything on that thing? I don't know, Up maybe it's No, no, <laughs> god damn it, Cobra! You're right, what? it doesn't have one, it's a golem. Yeah, but still, you gotta admit that Uni has a point, it's about the size of a French bulldog. Oh, oh! Well, hello there! See, it doesn't need a giant death laser. It has us. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, it's okay. pointing at something directly above us. Uh, come on, if you st st stay standing here, then I'll see if I can find a way up. I'll stay here and protect and protect. No, it disappear. All right. Okay, just stay where you are. Then I'll climb on top of this thing, and I'll know where to look. It seems just to be careful. I'm standing close. right next to where it stood. I mean, if. Uh, if we're still here, it'd be right next to my character's right hand. Right. There's something up here. Oh, there's something up here. A strange metal piece. Huh. We're coming up there. Alright, does it say find uh, other excavation sites for you guys now? No, it's no. a follow custodian. Alright. For me, it says find what the custodian is pointing at. Why does it follow the custodian? Mm. It is. Okay, then oh. you might want to go back and reactivate the custodian because. Uh, okay, can I get some help with these guys? Oh, sure. Uh, go with her. Yep, just need to say it. Oh, okay, um, I can it. go with her. Okay, you go and help her out. We get this metal. Where was the thing again? I'll go help out. And um, yeah, we'll just skip ahead for this part, people. We'll be right back. Right, we're back. So now we have to investigate the three other sites, I think it was. Okay. Uh, they're not marked on the map, so... Let me just... Ah, there's the image. The second excavation site was... <laughs> There's one down by uh, this Jareem something. Wait a moment. Ah, this only shows a fragment of the map. This by down by Nocturne. Yeah, okay, I found I know where the next side is. Great. For me, it's not a full scale map the cultists used. That was what threw me off at first. Now I know where we go. Hmm, it's actually not that far. Good, because it would take some time if you had to run all over the map again. Yeah. So I feel no need to cut the connection this time. Uh, you will expect them, Rana. What? Yeah, he's with us. Great. She was just not the fastest. Us. That happens. I'm just not really the fastest runner, to be quite honest. No, let me just check. What would be the quickest way over there? <coughs> yeah, it really would be this way. 
Also fits with what I think I saw on the map or whatever it was. <laughs> 